Welcome to SBS News in Easy English. I'm Assam Al Ghalib. New South Wales has recorded 97 local cases of COVID 19 today. Most of these were household cases of other contacts. 29 were in the community for their entire infectious period. 75 are in hospital, 18 are in intensive care, and 5 are on ventilators. New South Wales Premier Gladys Berejiklian says around three-quarters of all cases are in the Fairfield local government area. We're also seeing an extension of cases in those adjoining suburbs and local government areas. Previously, we had said that if you have the mildest of symptoms, you should get tested. Of course, we're asking any people who need to work outside of the house from that local government area to also get tested every three days. But now we're also asking that if you have anyone in your extended family, extended social circle or workplace that has the virus, go and get tested regardless. Chief Health Officer Dr Kerry Chant says people need to limit moving around in the community. Teachers from Fairfield are queuing for COVID-19 vaccinations after the state government agreed to prioritize education workers. Victoria has recorded 10 local cases today, bringing the number of active cases to 36. The state has also entered its fifth lockdown after the number of locally acquired COVID cases grew to 18. The outbreak there was started by two separate leakages from the Sydney Delta outbreak. The lockdown is due to last until midnight on Tuesday, although Premier Daniel Andrews might release some parts of regional Victoria sooner. He says the rules are the same as the last lockdown in May. They have worked before, they will work again. They've worked against different strains of this virus most recently. They've worked against Delta. And they will work this time. If we all invest in this, if we all accept this is not where we want it to be, and it's not easy, but it's essential. Otherwise, it'll be five weeks or five months, and I'm just not prepared to wait for the sake of convenience now, only to realise it's too late to do what must be done. Queensland is shutting its borders to Victoria from Saturday. Queensland recorded one new locally acquired case today, the mother of a 12-year-old boy who tested positive yesterday. Health Minister Yvette Doth is reminding people to check for exposure sites at least once a day. From 1am tomorrow morning, anyone travelling from Victoria into Queensland will need to have a travel declaration and an exemption. It should only be Queensland residents who are flying in and they will need to go into hotel quarantine for 14 days. Now, those people flying in today will still need their travel declarations and police will be checking these at the airport. Uh, This way we can make sure we are able to contact anyone who we believe has been uh, a close contact Queensland has not closed its border to New South Wales. It has just banned people from Greater Sydney. The head of the World Health Organization says it is too soon to rule out a potential link between the COVID-19 pandemic and a laboratory leak. WHO Director General Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus says getting access to raw data had been a challenge for the international team that traveled to China earlier this year to investigate the source of the virus. Uh, We are asking actually China to be transparent, open and cooperate, especially on the information raw data that we asked for at the early days of the pandemic. German Health Minister Jens Spahn expects more from China. We do appreciate um, the cooperation of the Chinese government so far for the first mission, Um, but that's not yet enough, obviously. Uh, Like the G7 leaders uh, called on more investigations, uh, we we fully support this, and so we can can just call on 
China to intensify the cooperation to examine uh, the origin uh, of this virus. With both of Australia's largest cities locked down to control a COVID-19 surge, Australian Muslim leaders are urging their communities to abide by the health guidelines while observing the incoming Eid al-Adha. Mufti of Australia, Dr. Ibrahim Abu Mohammed, has given this message via SBS Arabic 24 to the Muslim community. He wants them to follow the health guidelines issued by the authorities. Under these circumstances, some restrictions have been imposed that may affect our freedoms, but they are important. We must be patient, show wisdom, sacrifice this freedom temporarily, cooperate with health authorities and law enforcement agencies, help and support them and abide by the rules. Sheikh Yusuf Nabha, Imam of Sydney's Masjid al-Rahman, also gave a similar message. He told SBS Arabic 24 that Eid observers should refrain from visits and stay at home. In the past, we used to say that the teachings command visiting relatives and friends. But these days, we must replace that with the social distancing so that people do not get infected with this virus. And now to sport. Australian tennis player Alex de Menor has tested positive for COVID-19. The Australian Olympic Committee has confirmed he's been forced out of the Tokyo Olympics. It comes just a week before the opening ceremony. I'm Assam Al-Ghalib. This is SBS News in Easy English.